All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm the one and only Douglas Habian, and I promise you I am better at this than the image quality that you're getting on the screen. Very limited in my resources right now, but I want to keep these videos coming out, so I am going to do what I can with, with what I have, which is sometimes all you can do in life. Now, in the previous video, we downloaded a binary um, program called Belena Etcher, and we're going to use that um, in this video in order to install our first um, operating system. Our first Linux um, operating system will be installing it onto a, a um, USB stick. So we'll be flashing this image to a USB stick, and then we'll take that USB stick, and we will do what's called a live boot and boot into it from a laptop, a laptop that's running a completely different system. So you can do this. Um, you can watch my previous episodes. If you don't know how to set up the um, configurations and so forth in your bios, go to my previous videos and um, everything you need to be able to get to this point should be in some of my previous videos. So right now I'm actually on a live system and I'm already booting from a USB stick. So I'm going to be doing what I'm doing in part from a live system. We'll be bouncing back and forth between two different laptops to, to accomplish this just because of my lack of resources at the present moment. So for Dragon OS, you are going to end up going to this website right here. And I'll probably put a link in the, in the description for you to make it easy. But it's sourceforge.net. And then it's going to be forward slash projects forward slash dragon OS dash focal. That's going to take you to this page. Now, I've already downloaded this to make this quicker. Um, but it's on a different machine. So I'll be sliding the video over to that machine here in a moment. However, if you go to this page, you'll see this download tab right here there's some more tabs here that you can click on to get some information about this operating system i definitely want to read all of this as it says the default user um, is going to be live uh, the username will be live and there's no password so you would just hit return and this is running it live um, before doing any installation so we're not going to be doing an installation we're not we're not installing this on a laptop, so we will be accessing it as the live user. This is Dragon OS Focal X um, 22.04, and this is based on a Lubuntu um, image. Uh, you can continue to read this um, on your own time when you go to the website, but this is basically something that if you're doing anything with software to find radio and you know, this is a whole entire field in and of itself. It's vast. So we're talking about, you know, hacker RFs um, down to just regular SDR, RTL software to find radio dongles. This is going to have an abundance of tools, programs, etc. related to anything that has to do with SDR and, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, uh, pretty much anything dealing with a signal. So you can see by looking at the list of, of tools, it, it's, it's vast. And uh, you could spend a lot of time on this particular area. Um, but if you come over here to the download tab, click on that. It is basically going to initiate the download for you. It'll tell you um, it's going to begin shortly, and then it will, it will start to download. And that's going to be to download Dragon OS focal x r30.2 iso at the time um, of this video uh, by the time you watch this video you may be downloading a newer version so keep that in mind now as i said i've already downloaded this so i am not going to go through the process of downloading it again and just for a side note um, you can see down here this this uh, name right here. I'm not sure how you pronounce this. CMAX Acuter, something to that effect. This is the guy who maintains this operating system. He's got his own YouTube channel, 
Um, he is clearly very knowledgeable in this field. You can go to a website that is linked um, on that page. I am getting a little pop up here about an insecure connection. So maybe you want to, maybe you don't, but this guy has an incredibly large amount of knowledge when it comes to this. He's the one who's put together this operating system. And he also has a YouTube channel. And there is a lot of knowledge to be gathered from his uh, YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and show you that real quick before we move forward. Um, type that into the browser uh, or the search engine for YouTube, I should say. And it's going to be this channel right here. I do not know this man personally. I've never met him. I, nothing, nothing to that effect. I'm not plugging any companies or anything like that. I'm just trying to point you in the direction of where you can get more knowledge. And this guy clearly has an abundance of it. So that's that. Now, once you have downloaded the ISO and keep in mind, you know, you, in the previous um, video, we downloaded uh, Belena Etcher. We are going to begin the process of uh, flashing Belena, um, flashing Dragon OS to a USB stick using Belena Etcher. So for that, I'm actually going to slide over to another system. And that is going to be this guy right here. I have a USB stick. This is, I believe it's a 32 gigabyte USB stick. Um, I erased it. I didn't do the most uh, secure erase. I, I would have done it a little differently um, had this been more important. But this is just going to be written over and over again for all the different operating system images. I'll be doing a separate video on how to securely um, erase or wipe a USB stick, but I didn't go that far for this because like I said, I'm just going to be writing over and over again. So one thing I'm going to do here is I am going to sudo in to my uh, shell because I will need uh, sudo privileges. Okay, so now that I have uh, pseudo privileges and I have entered my password and so forth. So I have the operating system image for Dragon OS. I have it saved over here in this directory. And that's what you see here on the screen. So I can run file on that and we'll get back that it is an ISO CD-ROM file system, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, LS-LH will give me the size in human readable format. And we see that it's about four gigs. So it's a decent size um, ISO. This is comparable to, say, a, win um, a Windows installation. This is a decent size. Now, I'm going to plug my USB stick in just for the sake of it. I'll run dmessage uh, with a sudo. I add a dash W flag. And by doing this, when I plug the USB stick in, it'll register. 